Welcome to another mini video from 3dgamerguru.com. This one is about quickly changing the content of a symbol for a pattern design. We have two design elements with similar sizes, the flowers and the leaves. Both of them will be part of the symbol and then we can easily change between the two and keep the pattern itself intact. So I start by creating a symbol, I then duplicate the symbol, scale it, rotate it and place it to create my base pattern. I then bring in the second design, the leaves and move them inside the symbol. Copy and paste works just as well. Just got to put it in the right position so they align so you can see that the pattern is repeating now with the leaves. I can now delete or hide the initial element, the flowers, so we just see the leaves. I did delete them, let me bring them back in and hide them. So now we can work on making the pattern work a little nicer with the leaves. For this video I chose a rather big difference between the two designs. It would make more sense to replace the orange flower with, for example, a red flower of a different kind. Play around with symbols, they are an awesome feature in Affinity Designer.